my friends. All right, my friends. So this week I've added another worksheet because I don't have the color worksheets for you because I cannot provide you with the color silver, uh, which will be in a, another video. Um, so make sure you watch that. It's the same color that's in our background. Silver is more of a glittery gray. And when uh, I show you in the next video, you'll see what I'm talking about. Last week, we learned about gray. This week, we are learning about what silver is, the color silver. But because I don't have worksheets for you, because I did not find uh, silver crayons, enough of them to give to everybody, I did not include a worksheet. But I would like you guys to go around and find something silver around your house after you watch this color silver video today and send me a picture of something silver so I can see whether you understand what silver is or not. All right. So instead of doing silver worksheets this week, I have um, a new uh, item to teach you, which is called patterns. Patterns are objects that are repeated. So if I have three objects, a car, a mouse, and a flower, I have to, if I repeat that those objects, it's called a pattern. Car, mouse, flower car mouse flower car mouse flower car mouse flower that's called a pattern if you have two objects a car and a mouse and then you do it again car mouse car mouse car mouse car mouse that's called a pattern so in order to do it you can have as many objects as you want but when you have the objects you have to repeat them over and over in and then that's a pattern so go ahead and get out your worksheet that looks like this. It's a little Christmas one. You'll need your glue stick and scissors and let's get started. All right, first things first, let's go ahead and write our name at the very top because you are turning this in so I can see if you know patterns. You are also going to be tested on patterns when it is time to do our uh, report cards. So make sure you understand what patterns are. On this worksheet, we are going to cut out uh, the four squares that are at the bottom. So go ahead and cut those out first. Take your time. After you cut out your patterns, I want you, or not the patterns, but your squares at the bottom, the pictures at the bottom, cut out those squares right on the dotted line remember you should have one piece of trash throw that in the trash when we are done today cut apart these squares so you should have one square that is a tree one that's a gingerbread one that is a santa face and one that is a stocking and we're going to be gluing them it says paste here a long long time ago that's what they used to call it is paste and now we've moved into glue sticks all right, so a pattern. Remember I told you it's the same objects that repeat over and over and over and over is a pattern. So let's go ahead and do the first one. Gingerbread stocking. Gingerbread, let me show you like this. Gingerbread stocking. Gingerbread stocking. Gingerbread stocking. What comes next? It has to be one of these. Is it gingerbread or stocking? Let's go ahead and do it again gingerbread stocking gingerbread stocking gingerbread stocking what comes next that's right gingerbread so go ahead and get your glue stick put a little bit of glue in that first blank square and put your gingerbread down on the glue just like that so now our pattern is gingerbread stocking gingerbread stocking gingerbread stocking gingerbread what would come next that's right it would have been stocking if it asked for it but it didn't it's only one question all right so let's do this one santa face stocking stocking santa face stocking stocking what comes next that's right santa face so go ahead and put glue right there in that square and put santa face down and then let's do our pattern ready Santa face, stocking, stocking. Santa face, stocking, stocking. Santa face, 
what would come next? Stocking, stocking, that's right. So in this pattern, there's only two items, gingerbread and stocking. In this one, the pattern has three, Santa face, stocking, and another stocking. So if we were in the classroom, I would have you color like this one red and this one green. There would be two different stockings. Santa, stocking, stocking. So they're using three items. All right, let's try this one. Tree, gingerbread, Santa. Tree, gingerbread, Santa. What goes here? A tree, good job. So go ahead and put some glue right there and we're gonna put the, the tree down. Good job. All right, and now we're gonna do this one. Gingerbread, Santa, stocking, stocking. Ooh, this is a good one. Gingerbread, Santa, what comes after Santa's face? The stocking, so that's what we're gonna put right there. Good job. My friends, we did it. We are all done. Look at that. Good job. All right, put this in your communication folder. You're going to turn it in. I'll see you later. Bye.